time to voice my opinion. <laughs> oh, I feel like cool. This is hard for me to say. I'm not gonna go to the beach this morning. I really want to, but truthfully, like, I have this for a reason to help me and I haven't been listening to it. Sorry, my battery died. But, so I pointed at my ring. I have it and I purposely got it to help me with my sleep and I haven't been using it or not using it but listening to it and you know my body is really feeling the effects of that because yeah I do lift for a while in the gym but running on four or sometimes less hours of sleep lifting like I do already having like all my digestive stress from allergies and stuff and then not taking care of my body outside of the gym and running on E all the time and like honestly I kind of have been almost like he convicted me on this in my youth my young adults thing the other day where he was like you worship your work and I kind of do and I'm like oh I'm gonna grind, I'm gonna grind, 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 do it all. I can do it all. I don't need sleep. Who needs sleep? I got this. Until I start falling asleep driving because I've had POTS episodes and my stress is too high and I'm not listening to my body and then I'm wondering why I can't de-bloat and why I'm bloated all the time and just all the things. And I know, I'm a coach. I'm smarter than that. I know it's because I'm not sleeping. I know, but again, I was like worshiping my work in a sense where I was like, like I said, I don't need to sleep. I have too much to do, I can't sleep. But here's the thing, God says he will give me rest. And one thing I've said before is if the devil can't take you out, he's gonna wear you out. I mean, I don't wanna give the devil that power over me. So I'm going to plan my podcast. I have a walking pad that I can go on later. I want to run later. And I don't want to rush out and go to the beach. Like, I love it and I want to go. And maybe I'll go tomorrow morning or I'll wait till next Sunday. I don't know. But what I do know is that my body hurts. I've been chronically bloated chronically holding water weight and I really haven't given myself any kind of rest I say I do but like 
basically what I'm getting at is that I haven't been practicing like a Sabbath day for myself. And all of like my fitness favorite people that I look at, um, they don't work out as long as I do and I love their physiques. And I'm just kind of like, what am I doing wrong? And it's like, I know what I'm doing wrong. I'm doing, I'm pushing my body too hard and it's rejecting what I'm doing. So, yeah, I'm upset. At the same time, I feel like I'm letting people down. But, I don't know. I feel like at first it was for me and then it became like a thing. And I was like hungry for God to talk to me when I was on the beach. Like, really wanted it. But... God can speak to me through the Bible, which I need to read more. And I've been saying that. And I want to continue studying Proverbs and I have to read, and I have to read, I need to read Esther, Esther for my girls group on Wednesday. And I have a Lauren Daigle concert this week and just like, I have a full plate. And I know I've said before, like I'd rather have a full plate than no plate at all, but Heck, I don't need my plate spilling over. Because if it spills over, it's no good on the floor. Hmm. I think that just became a podcast episode. So stay tuned for that. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna take my time today getting ready for church and I can wear an outfit that I wanted to wear but I'm like well I can't wear pants on the beach but I'm gonna take care of myself today I need it so yeah no no getting ready with me for the beach this morning but that's okay hopefully you're not mad at me <laughs> so I'll see you in a little bit when I get ready for church. I'll tell you what, this podcast episode is gonna be heavy, but it needs to be said. And I'm honestly gonna make a TikTok video about why I didn't go to the beach this morning because I think that's important too. Because a lot of people have come like back for that. So I'm gonna make that after church. But right now it's 6.45. I have to leave by 7.30, so I'm gonna go ahead and walk the dogs now before I get ready, and then come inside and get ready. So, we'll see you in a second. I have wanted to wear this outfit since I bought it. <laughs> These pants are from TJ Maxx, and I'm obsessed. My heels are from TikTok shop. This is a Hollister shirt. Let's go to church. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> no. Okay, let's check in, shall we? Went to church. Also went to the meeting at the gym, so, so excited to work at that gym with them amazing people. Um, where is it? No, it's not in here. No, it's in my house. Dang it. Gosh darn it. I'll have to do it when I come back in, but I went to TJ Maxx and Home Goods, got nothing. I got stuff. So, my favorite scent ever is pumpkin pecan waffles. And I'm missing my thing in here. I thought I had brought it in here after I cleaned out my other car, but I didn't. I have a fall one. I almost bought one and I was like no Jessica you already have one 
So didn't let myself do that. Proud of myself for that. Also got a pumpkin spice latte candle. I was either these or the wall fragrances, but I liked the candles better and they were half off, so. And I got pumpkin s'mores. I don't care what you wanna say about me. Is it not even August yet? 100%, not August, I don't care. And then I got, which is this one, salted butterscotch. Butterscotch is my favorite flavor ever. I will to give me all the butterscotch things. All of it. I want all of it. But I thought I had my little wall fragrance, my little car fragrance thing in here, and I don't, and I'm upset about it because I wanted to put it in. But I have to get fruit at Publix, and then I'm going to go home. And I'm going to record my podcast. I want to run today. I want to, we'll see how I feel. Cause I know I needed a break today, which is what I said in the morning. And I've been doing that. And I wanna record my podcast and I want to also clean a little bit of the room. I just feel like I want to be organized. I feel like I've been such a mess. I say I'm a mess. I haven't really been that messy, but regardless, I want to clean stuff up and like decorate and do things. I'm gonna decorate today too. So stay tuned for that because that's for sure happening. I'm taking out my Halloween stuff. I don't care. Say whatever you want to say about me. Give me a hard time if you want. By all means, it's happening, whether you care or not. Whether you like it or not. Your girl's decorating. Okay? Deal with it. So, let's go home. <laughs> I don't care what anyone says. This candle is heavenly. It is a pumpkin spice latte candle. It smells so good. I took the dogs for a really long walk because we ended up stopping at the dog park because I wanted them to play with other dogs and socialize and there was finally like four or five dogs in there and they did so good and I'm so happy. And I keep forgetting that I need to wash my makeup off my face, the little bit that I do have. But I'm gonna do that, I'm gonna make a protein shake um, record my podcast because this is going to be a podcast that I'm going to get like pretty passionate about so I definitely want to have my shake first because it's probably going to be a longer one but it's going to be good that's <laughs> for sure here we go <laughs> Peter Pan's voice is in my head when I say that so <clears throat> it's time I drank my shake I had cafe mocha now it's time to voice my opinion. <laughs> uh, I have to keep my cool on this one though. A few moments later. Okay, podcast episode is done. I ate dinner. Only thing I didn't do today was vacuum, which I really wanted to do, but hopefully I can <clears throat> make time to do that tomorrow. But now I'm going to put my back massager on. Ow have my protein ice cream, and go to sleep. Yeah, going to sleep. So, thank you guys for following along. Hopefully no one's mad at me for not going to the beach. Um, I wish I could have gone, but I know I have to take care of myself too. And I need to get out of this performance mindset that I've adopted over the last couple of years. So, yeah, but thank you guys for supporting me. I have big plans and big things in mind because, you know, God is the God of possibilities and the God of vision. And uh, I'm excited to see what happens and yeah gonna be great but thank you for supporting me thank you for watching 
and I hope you come back and don't forget you're fearfully and wonderfully made. Thank you.